This is Zaza. Hi. And her dog, Pecorino. <laughs> They're on a mission to find Hold on, Pecorino. and to make the perfect pie. Hi there, I'm Elena with Zaza's Perfect Pie. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make chocolate pizza dough. Yes, you can easily make chocolate pizza dough. I know, it's delicious as a dessert topped with fresh fruit, but I'm going to show you how to make chocolate fluffernutter pizza pockets. Yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> You want to add water gradually to the dry ingredients so you don't add too much and it gets too sticky. Once you've mixed everything together, knead the dough on a lightly floured surface until it's smooth. You could also use a stand mixer. Cover the dough and let it rise for an hour and a half to two hours. If you cover it with a wet kitchen towel, it will ensure that your dough doesn't get all dry on top. You could also use plastic wrap. If you want to make this dough ahead of time, you can let it rise in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours. Allow it to come to room temperature before you use it. You want to make sure to seal the pizza pocket so your ingredients don't come spilling out. I use a fork and press the top layer into the bottom. A little egg wash on top keeps your pizza pockets nice and shiny. You can store these pizza pockets in the fridge for up to a week, or put them in the freezer and defrost when you'd like a little treat. I decorated my pizza pockets with a little melted chocolate and rainbow sprinkles. You don't have to do that, but Zaza sure likes it. <laughs> 